Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to find compound interest when it is compounded half yearly. This is the formula we use to find the compound interest. Other formulas we use are amount is equal to P times 1 plus R divided by 100 whole raised to power T and then after finding the amount we find the compound interest as amount minus principal. So sometimes we use the formula for amount and then we find the compound interest and the direct formula for finding the compound interest is this one. Both the formulas are same. Here this term is equal to this term minus principal we do after finding amount. Here we are directly subtracting the principal in the single formula. In this formula the time is in years. One year is equal to two half years. So time period will become 2 times t. Whatever the t is given in the question, we just need to multiply that time by 2 to find the compound interest half yearly. And another change we need to do is rate of interest because rate of the interest is given in percentage per annum. Per annum means per year. So as there are 2 half years in a year, so this rate of interest will be r divided by 2 per half year. These are the two changes we need to do in the formula for finding the half yearly compound interest. So our final formula for finding the half yearly compound interest will be P times 1 plus R divided by 2 times 100 whole raised to power 2T minus 1. So this is the formula we can use to find the half yearly compound interest. Yearly compound interest is also called semi-annual compound interest. So if it is given to find the compound interest half yearly or semi-annually, it means the same thing. So we will be solving two examples in this video. So let's start with our first example. So our first example is find the compound interest on, on rupees 5000 at 20% per annum for one and a half years compounded half yearly. First, we'll write the given terms in the question. So we have been given the principal amount of rupees 5000. Rate of interest is 20% per annum. And we have to calculate the compound interest half yearly. So that will be per half year. So this rate of interest, which is 20%, will become R divided by 2 per half yearly, which is equal to 20 divided by 2 which is equal to 10 percent. Time is given as one and a half years which we can write it as 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 3, 3 by 2 years. So the formula we are going to use is compound interest is equal to P times 1 plus R divided by 100 whole raised to power NT minus 1. So let's put the values in the formula. So P is given as 5000 times 1 plus R will be equal to 10%. So this is 10 divided by 100 and N here is 2 because there are 2 half years in a year. So this will be 2 times T is given as 3 by 2, 3 by 2 minus 1. Remember that when we calculate compound interest half yearly then the rate of interest and time which are per annum quantities will be converted to half year quantity. Now the rate of interest is 10% and time will become 3 half years. So let's solve it further. 5000 times 1 plus 10 divided by 100 will be 1 upon 10 whole cube minus 1 these two gets cancelled. So this is 5000 times the LCM of 10 and 1 will be 10. So this will be 10 plus 1 whole cube minus 1 which is equal to 5000 times 11 upon 10 whole cube minus 1. Let's solve it here on this side. 
compound interest is equal to 5000 times 11 cube divided by 10 cube minus 1 which is equal to 5000 times 11 cube is 1331 divided by 1000 minus 1 so the LCM will be 1000 and this is 1331 minus 1000 So compound interest will be 5000 times 1331 minus 1000 will be 331 divided by 1000 which is equal to 5 times 331 because the zeros in the denominator gets cancelled with the zeros in the numerator. 5 times 331 is 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15. 1 carry over 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16. So compound interest is 1655. So our final answer will be compound interest is rupees 1655. So this is how you can find the compound interest which is compounded half yearly. Let's solve one more example. So our second question is Find the compound interest on rupees 6250 at 8% per annum for one year compounded half yearly. So first we'll write what all is given in the question. So our principal amount given is rupees 6250. Rate of interest per annum is 8% per annum. This is per annum. Per annum means per year. But we have to find the compound interest half yearly. So this rate of interest will be 8% divided by 2 which is equal to 4% per half year. And time period is given as 1 year. 1 year and there are 2 half years in a year. So this will become 2 half year. So compound interest formula is P times 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power T minus 1. So let's substitute the values. This is 6250 times 1 plus R will become R divided by 2 which is 4% divided by 100 whole raised to power T will be 2T which is 2 half years. So this is 2 minus 1. The compound interest will be equal to 6250 times 1 plus 4 divided by 100 is 1 upon 25 whole square minus 1. So this is 6250 times LCM will be 25. This is going to be 25 plus 1 whole square minus 1. So this is 6250 times 26 divided by 25 whole square minus 1. Let's solve it further here on this side. Compound interest is equal to 6250 times 26 times 26 divided by 25 times 25 minus 1 which is equal to 6250 25 times 25 is 625 and 26 times 26 is 676 minus 1 so the LCM will be 625 so this is 676 minus 625 so 6250 times 676 minus 625 is 51 divided by 625 which is equal to 6250 times 51 divided by 625. So this is 625 times 1 and 625 times 10. So 10 times 51 is 510. 
so our compound interest is equal to 510 so our fi final answer is rupees 510 so this is how we can find compound interest when it is compounded half yearly i hope this video is helpful to you if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos thanks for watching